Gemini. I'm Anisha. To know more about my work, you may visit my website www.tarubayanisha.com. For those of you who are seeking deeper clarity, be it in your love lives or your career, for a personal consultation, you may write to me at tarubayanisha.gmail.com. Geminians, October is a lovely, lovely month. We have uh, Jupiter that is going to be making its annual move. It's going to be changing signs. More about that in a little bit. Let's have a look at the month, what it has in store for you. On the 5th, we have a full moon that is there in your house of groups of friends, people with whom you share similar goals. And with this full with this full moon being over there, there's going to be a lot of focus on your hobbies, romantic activities. And uh, this is a time where you realize the kind of role that you play in others' life. Whether as a parent you are with your children, whether your role as a child in your parents' life or even in your marriage or in your partnership. During this entire full moon phase that begins on the 5th, it lasts for about a couple of weeks. There's going to be an acknowledgement and acceptance and even a realization that you're going to be seeking validation from your friends. It's something like a kind of a reaffirmation. What is the value that I bring to your life? How is it that I make your life better? Or in some cases, you will be told and you will be acknowledged and you will be appreciated for your um, not just presence, but the value that you're adding to other people's lives. This is also um, a time where you will find all of a sudden being surrounded by a group of people and you could have been uh, in a space of solitude for a bit and there could just be this flurry of activity and all of a sudden that you will find a large group of people around you as well. For some of you, it could also mean just walking away from a group uh, of people with whom you may have other uh, wise um, related with even maybe hung around with and um, this is a time where you will feel you know that i have grown beyond that there is nothing more that i'm learning there's nothing more that i can add and you will choose to break away from this set of friends and maybe explore the wider uh, world on the 11th we have jupiter that is moving into your house of day-to-day uh, -day chores and uh, this is also uh, your house Healthy. and fitness and uh, Jupiter is going to be here till about 8th of November 2018 and during this cycle you're going to see a lot of benefit as far as your health is concerned as far as your work is concerned and you're going to be finding a lot of joy in self-improvement in your work and uh, you will be taking a lot of care of your health Geminians. I think this entire um, Jupiter is all about expansion he's uh, also known as the god of sky he's the giver the only uh, negative, if at all, I can call about, uh, I can point uh, towards the Jupiter uh, effect is the exaggeration. It can at times tend to exaggerate things far more than they may uh, normally appear. And um, you will see benefits coming through collaboration, cooperation, benefits coming from co-workers. And uh, during this entire cycle, even if you're working at a company, you'll find that other employees, other people or peers, everybody is being extremely supportive to you. And any type of service that you may provide during this time, especially if you're in advertising, communication, media, publishing houses, writers, it's a lovely time because you'll really find your work being accepted and people are really coming around and supporting you and enabling you more. This um, entire Jupiter phase as well, you'll enjoy your work a lot. You'll find that you are connecting more to it. You're in a space where you're able to really be your creative self. You're able to even ask for the kind of money that you feel that you deserve for the work that you're doing. And uh, the, the best way for a Jupiter transit in this house is to recognize your own usefulness and uh, um, the uh, value that you add to the work and it will bring you a lot of inner joy uh, as well. There can be an inclination to put on weight because Jupiter tends to again expand and it also um, indicates you know leaning towards a sweet tooth so, so try and be a little careful and uh, stick to your uh, health regime eat clean eat fresh on the 15th we have venus that is moving into your house of uh, romance children creativity and uh, this is the house which venus rules and she loves being over here and you'll find that um, maybe a child is being a great source of joy you find a lot of comfort spending time with your children maybe a project that comes about during this time you feel really creative 
you feel very passionately about some of you will also um, uh, could get romantically linked during this time so for those of geminians who are single you may find love uh, during this time and it's a wonderful wonderful time to be dating on the 18th we have mercury that's your ruling planet it's moving into its natural house that is the house of day to day chores and health and is joining jupiter over there and it's a great uh, um, placement for mercury because it's a natural ruler of this house and it's an excellent time to be sorting out details of your daily existence and you could be inclined to make a lot of these lengthy day to day uh, your to do lists and sort out clutter pay bills and you could be thinking about scheduling checkups taking second opinion and you could also show keener interest in your basic skills uh your approach towards work during this time is going to be pleasant happy logical and you could be inclined to be learning new skill sets and more uh more work related skill sets which could really improve uh, your work and enhance your money more for you it's also um this entire energy is also really um focused towards organizing the working environment and it's a great time uh, because you will be um you will be able to be very objective and intelligent while dealing with things while organizing things or even um, whether you organizing for yourself or you organizing for other people but you will find that you are able to handle your day to day life very fluidly on the 19th we have a new moon that is there in this house of love romance creativity and children and uh, uh, again for those of you who are single you may find uh, the love of your life and uh, it may be a uh, sort of as a very light friendship but it could turn into something really deep during this time so remember this date on the 23rd we have mars that is also moving to this house of love romance creativity and children so an extremely self expressive time and you're going to be having lots of energy but not necessarily this self discipline to match this geminians and um, it's a great time to be expressing yourself creatively talk and express passionately about things which are really really close to your heart and things which have to do around children and romantic activities and hobbies or even sports and your love your love life could step up a notch during this time and it could especially be quite a passionate time and you will be putting a lot of energy lot of focus on uh, play and pleasure try not to burn the candle on both the sides geminians and also watch out for a tendency to want to gamble be a little careful and uh, you'll be feeling quite playful and quite child like so enjoy your time during this time on the 24th we have sun that is also moving to the house of day to day chores and the sun is uh, coming and shining a light and saying you need to be digging uh, deeper you need to be going below the surface you need to be looking at things that have not worked so far as far as work is concerned and as far as health is concerned you need to be looking at your patterns carefully why is it if something if the product is really good why is it that it has not worked and why is it that you keep falling back on say a bad heat uh, you know eating habit or uh, you know the 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 gym routine sort of just doesn't stick so it's asking you to take a deeper look go under the surface and explore and see as to how best you can do it properly it's been a pleasure speaking with you geminians i'll see you again soon and thank you so much for watching